square root of 27 divided by square root of 50. How do we divide radicals? If it was a simple division, let's say it's 27 divided by 50, then it means 27 times, sorry it is 7, 27 times 1 upon 50. We convert division into multiplication and the number after that gets inverted. So, it is equal to 27 upon 50. But here, 27 and 50 are under roots. So, how do we solve it? We can use the same property of division and write it as square root of 27 upon square root of 50. Now, when square root of A upon square root of B, we can write it as A upon B under square root. Similarly, if we have square root of A times square root of B, we can write it as A times B under square root. So, here we can write 27 upon 50 under square root. Now, 27 we can write it as 3 times 3 times 3. Then upon 50 as 5 times 5 times 2. Then under square root or we can write it as 3 square times 3 upon 5 square times 2 under square root. Now using the property a times b under square root is equal to square root of a times square root of b. So this we can write square root of 3 square times square root of 3 upon square root of 5 square times square root of 2. Now we can remove the square root with the square. Why? Because when a is under square root, it means a is raised to the power of 1 upon 2. So when we square it, it means the exponent is multiplied by 2. So this 2 and this 2 gets cancelled. Therefore, when there is square, it removes the square root. So we have square root of 3 times square root of 3 upon Again, remove the square root with the square. 5 times square root of 2. Can we leave it here? No, we cannot leave it here because if this number under square root, here 2 is under square root. If it was a perfect square, let's say it was under root 16, then 16 is a perfect square. Square root of 16 will be 4 because 4 square is 16. But square root of 2, the value is 1 decimal 4, 1, 4 and it goes on. So, it is a non-ending number. So, we cannot divide a number by a non-ending number. Consider you have to divide something in some parts. Let us say there is a cake and you have to divide into 4 parts. So, you can divide it easily by 4 parts but if it is said that you have to divide it into root 2, we cannot divide it. Therefore, we cannot leave it here. We will have to rationalize the denominator. Now, how do we rationalize the denominator? To rationalize the denominator, we multiply and divide by this square root. Why do we multiply and divide? Because when square root of 2 upon square root of 2, we can easily cancel them out. It is 1. Multiplying any number by 1 is the same number. So, we are not changing the number. So, we are rationalizing the denominator. So, square root of 2 upon square root of 2. Now, 3. It is square root of 3 times square root of 2 upon 5 times square root of 2 square. Or this we can write 3 times 2 under square root upon 5 times, remove the square root with the square, 2. So, 3 times, 3 times 2 is 6 under square root upon 5 times 2 is 10. So, this will be the final answer. We can do the simplification of radicals here only and then do the division. For example, we can write 27 as 3 root 3 because 27 is 3 square times 3 under square root or it will be 3 square under square root times square root of 3. Remove the square root with the square. So, 27 is 
थ्री रूट थ्री डिवाइडेड बाय फिफ्टी इज फाइव रूट टू सो थ्री रूट थ्री अपॉन फाइव रूट टू रैशनलाइज द डिनोमिनेटर डिवाइड एंड मल्टीप्लाइड बाय द स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ टू वी आर जस्ट मल्टीप्लाइंग बाय द स्क्वायर रूट बिकॉज दिस फाइव इज ऑलरेडी अ रियल नंबर वी जस्ट नीड टू रैशनलाइज दिस स्क्वायर रूट सो इट विल बी थ्री टाइम्स स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ सिक्स अपॉन टेन सो दिस इज अनदर वे ऑफ डूइंग इट विच मेथड डिड यू लाइक मोर लेट मी नो इन द कमेंट सेक्शन थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग